Okay, everybody. Revising the lead introduction is what we are going to be working on today. Um, we're going to make sure that what we wrote the other day in our lead introduction has a hook. It gives context and background to your topic and sets up the focus and purpose of your essay. Then when you're when you're done watching this video, you're going to reread and use dark yellow ink to document any revisions. And you can use the timer to keep you focused. Now, you should have your rough draft open. We are on slide seven. So I'm going to open up my rough draft. Now, this is, we're starting the revising and editing process. So please review the rubric. It is a guide to aid you in your writing. We are going to start to use the colors in the rough draft. We're going to justify opinions and reasons and using supporting details. We're going to use, start to use transitional words. And when we, when we look at our introductory paragraph that we wrote, do we, did we hook our reader? Do we have a surprising fact? Do we have a question? Do we have a quotation? Do we have a brief antidote, a broad summary? Did we use historical, geographical, or social context? Um, definitions of unfamiliar terms. Um, did we write a good opinion claim statement that shows the essay focus? And is everything in the introduction relevant to the body of the essay? And finally, we're going to use dark yellow ink to document our changes. So here we have our rough draft. And this is, I'm putting this down here so I can show you the difference when it's revised. So here, I'm opening up the Explore tool in, Word, in our Google Doc, and I am going to type in my change maker. And when I was reading this, it's like I have in the 1800s, women and men of color, it talks about the social context, so I got that. We already talked about the claim opinion statement a woman named Susan B. Anthony was a courageous risk taker who advanced social change through promoting movements to abolish slavery, to grant women and men of color the right to vote, and to improve rights for married women. So we have a solid claim statement. What we don't have is a hook. Now, personally, I like to use quotes. So if I remember right, it was the history.com. Here we go has the quotes. Let's see if I'm right. Okay, so if I scroll down, yes. So what I would do is if I found a quote, we know that she's the author of them, so that makes it even more of an impact. I like organize, agitate, educate, must be our war cry, but you should read through all of them to see which ones makes the most impact you think for your essay. I'm sorry, I'm just going to turn off the sound so it doesn't become distracting. So I am going to, I like the organize, agitate, educate, must be our war cry. Does that sound like she wants movement and change to happen? So I'm going to go back to my rough draft and I'm going to put the quote at the very beginning. And then when we look at this, remember, we can, if we click on it, it gives a, it makes a footnote for us. And at the end of the page it's on, it will give us an MLA citation. So that makes it nice and easy for us. We can go back and do our work cited later. So now I'm gonna highlight this because we are supposed to change the text color because we made a revision in dark yellow. Now, organize, agitate, educate must be our war cry. In the 1800s, women and men of color in the United States did not have the same rights as white men. It was against the law for them to vote and married women did not have the same rights as their spouses. A woman named Susan B. Anthony was a courageous risk taker who advocated social change through promoting movements to abolish slavery to grant women and men of color the right to vote and to improve rights for married women. These movements included holding protests, marches and rallies to change the constitution. Now, the only thing is 
I don't know if I need this. I'm thinking about it. I am not going to totally get rid of it. I'm just going to highlight it and I'm going to format it and put a strike through. So for now, I'm going to leave it because I may use it later in the body of a paragraph or I may add it back in depending on if it sounds like it finishes off the intro paragraph after I'm done with the whole essay. So then I'm going to go in, I'm going to highlight, I'm going to make sure that these are all the same font and size so it's nice and organized. So now I have revised my introduction lead paragraph and we are all set for you to start. So you, you can set your timer for 10 minutes, re make your revisions in dark yellow. You got this. Thanks for listening.